All right, hello all. It's your brother from GMS Circle Line. Came back from another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakhak Dash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of the great millstone teaching us more percent truth according to the Bible rule well and peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, going to get into a lesson how, you know, we almost out of here. You know, this kingdom, Babylon the Great, you know, we see the signs at times. Uh, this this place is finished, you know. Pride is at all time high. You know, people are very pride. Pr pr uh, people are full of pride, you know, here in America. Whether it be their proud looks on their face, you know, and they refuse to receive correction. You know, or they're just proud in their wickedness that they commit in their day to day lives, you know, and the Lord is going to put that to an end, you know. But, you know, this is a uh, Romans 13 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, you know, first you have to know what times we are living in. You know, here it is, uh, you have an, uh, more lockdown, you have Israel. You know the Israelis they are in in their land in our land, I should say because they are in our land, you know they're in lockdown over there, you know the second wave of the covid all summer long, you know they have been talking about how the covid numbers are still going up, you know which you know that's you know you know I don't know anybody with covid, but you know, it it doesn't matter at the end of the day, you know, because the king's heart is in the hand of of the Lord. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shai, as the rivers of water, he turn if it worse over, he will. This is Yahweh by Shema Shai's will. You know, he spoke. You know, scriptures talk about a time of trouble, and we are approaching that time of trouble. You see, and that knowing the time, and and that knowing the time. That now it is high time to wake out of sleep. So now is the time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to ultimately come back and, and seek the Lord, you know? Now is the time to seek Yahweh by Shema Shah because you don't have all day. We don't get all day, you know, to be tearing, to be waiting to seek the Lord. The Lord's about to put an end to this wickedness on the, on the planet Earth, you see? This is, um... Hosea 10 and 12, it says, So to yourself, in righteousness, reap in mercy. And that's what you're going to need in these times to come. In these troubling times that are approaching, you're going to need the mercy of Yahweh by Shema Hashai. You're going to need the mercy of the Lord. Because this devil, the so-called white man, ain't going to show you no mercy when he comes in with that martial law, with that uh, draconian law. You know, when he comes in like a flood, as the scripture I've prophesied, he's not going to show you any mercy. You know, this is uh, Hosea 10 and 12. So, so to yourself in righteousness, reap in mercy. And you sowing in righteousness, you know, when you sow something, you know, when you sow a seed into a ground, that's actions that you are putting forth, you know. So what your actions, you know, to every action there is a reaction you see so your action and here in america you know whether people and believe it, they have consequences you know y'all by shema shai you know is going to bring every work and every secret thing into judgment you see and those who are so into righteousness you know having faith in the lord you know believing on y'all by shema shai believing on his words you know putting their trust in him they have a, a good reward for their labor, you see? But those that are sowing in wickedness, thinking that the Lord is afar off, thinking that the Lord is not, you know, true, thinking that the prophets out there are just making things up, you know, they are going to sow in destruction. It says, sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up the fallow ground for this time to seek the Lord. So now it is high time to wake out of that sleep you know, that sleep, you know, that America is your rest, that America is going to be, you know, that America is the kingdom of heaven, pretty much, you know, because that's the mindset of our people, that it can't get better than America, you know, the things that we can do here, you know, the, the so-called liberties that our people have, you know, which is no liberties at all, that's why I said so-called, 
you know, they think it can't get any better, you know, but the Lord has promised us a better way, you see? So it's time to seek Yahweh by Shema Shine. You seek the Lord by way of his prophets that he set up out there on the highways and byways, teaching you of teaching you of his ways, you know, what pleases the Lord, you know? And you seeking the Lord now is going to be great benefits when that time of trouble comes. You see, it says, "For it is time to seek the Lord, till till He come and shall rain righteousness upon you. Ye have plowed wickedness and reaped and have reaped iniquity. Ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in thy way." And in the multitude of thy mighty men. Yes, so that's what our people are doing. They're trusting in their way. You know, they're eating the fruit of lies. And we know that Esau is the father of lies. You know, we can get that. This is St. John 8. And St. John chapter 8, verse 42. Yahweh shall say unto them, If the Most High were your father... Ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from the Most High. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. And that's the spirit that we are coming in in these last days. You know, the prophets. You know, we come in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Hashai to preach on to our people. You know, some of our people, they wake up to, the, uh, to know that they're the Israelites. And they think they're going to be saved just off of that. But nah, you know... Jude 1 and 5 said, I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord afterwards saved the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. You know, afterward, he, he, he destroyed them that believed not. So your faith, you know, without faith it is impossible to please Yahweh by Shema Shai. So you're not doing that which is well pleasing in his sight. You know, you're not really, you know, giving that correct sacrifice. It says, why do ye not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my words? See, if you are of the Most High, if you love the Most High, you will keep his ways. You know, you will understand what we were talking about. You will understand what times we are living in, but you don't, you know, because why? Uh, uh, the scriptures say the Most High resisteth the proud. You see, it says, ye are of your father the devil in the lust of your father will you do you see our people of the world you know in the world being ran by the devil the so-called white man the earth is given to the hands of the wicked you know he covers the face of judges thereof the judges being you know you know Yahweh why Yahweh shy you know the Israelites you know the true rulers of the planet earth you know starting with the elect of the nation of Israel of course you know but um he covers the facial of judges thereof, and he's promoting wickedness all throughout the four corners of the earth. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you Israelite foreigners are taking that wickedness and running with it. You're not running with the breakdowns of the scriptures, but you're running with that wickedness, and you're going to be judged for that. It says, scriptures say what? You cannot love the Most High in, in, in this world, you know, and also that no man can have two masters you see he that make himself a friend of this world maketh himself the enemy of the heavenly father is not this the world that slayed uh, uh and killed the only begotten son of the lord but yet you want to be a friend of this world you see that doesn't make much sense at all you know it's saint john 8 and 44 ye are of your father the devil in the lust of your father, what you do, he was a murderer from the beginning. You see, that same spirit that was in the serpent, you know, uh, uh, uh you know, came back as Cain, you know, when when he murdered April, uh, Abel, and then what? He came back as Esau. You know, he was a murderer from the beginning, in the bow, not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. You see. The wicked out of the pride of their continents will not seek after the Most High. You know, neither is the Most High in any of, in any of his thoughts. You see, they, these devils are not thinking about how they can please the Lord, you know? They're thinking about how they can come up against those who believe in Yahweh Shemel Shai, the people of the Lord. 
but but mainly the elect. It said, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own because he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. You see? I'm going to jump to 47. It says, He that is of the Most High heareth the Most High's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of the Most High. You know, and that's the majority of our people. You know, and we're telling our people to repent, you know, to turn from that wicked way. Because we were once, you know, following after the ways of the so-called white man. Following what pleased us, you know, what we thought was right. But now we have forsaken that and followed the Lord. You see, so we are looking... For mercy from Yahweh by Shemel Shai in these last days. This is Romans thirteen eleven, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, our salvation, see, it is nearer than when we believe. You see how important it is to believe? You know, we believe that our salvation is near. You know, so we're pressing towards the mark, we're giving diligence. To make our calling and election sure, we, we're given diligence to seek the mercy of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know? This is um, Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather yourselves, gather together, O nations, not, O nation, not desiring. Who are you gathering yourselves together to? You know, you're gathering yourselves together to hear the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai and the nations. Not desire is the Israelites, obviously. You know, it's, it's very evident in the media how they portray the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Nobody wants to be an Israelite. No, wants to want, no one wants to be in their predicament. And at the same time, no one wants to show them any mercy. You see? Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a shaft, that decree, what? The decree of Jacob's trouble, the, the prophecies. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shai bringing judgment upon our people for their uh, wicked acts. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So before the Lord's anger come upon you, you know, by way of his sword, by way of the so-called white man, you see... <coughs> Um, bear with me. I believe it's Psalms 13. So, Psalm 17 and 14, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, Psalm 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. And we're asking the Lord to arise up to defend us. You see, disappoint who? The so called white man, because the Esau, Edom. No matter how much Jake commits wickedness in this kingdom, you know, the Lord is putting the spirit on this devil to uh to have the spirit to eradicate you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you see? It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. This man wants to establish a new world order, and you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not a part of it. Why do you think they're lying about, you know, these COVID numbers? You know, it's to keep that grip on the people, you know? Is to keep his uh, you know, it was a, the first stage with a test to see how easily people will comply. You know, now they have the census going on. You know, which I believe, you know, they're getting everyone's, you know, so they can know how much, how many people are in certain places, so they can take them off to concentration camps, so they can ration the food in a way to where it will make uh people submit. You know. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So the so-called white man is Yahweh by Shema Shai's sword, you know? So that's one way the Lord is going to bring his fierce anger upon you, you know? Since you trusted in oppression, you know, you trusted in your enemy, that's going to lead to your demise. It says, Before the... Back in Zephaniah 2 and 2, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So before the Lord's anger come upon you, you know, seek him. You know, ask for repentance. You know, ask for forgiveness, Lachia. Show repentance. 
you know, a contrite and humble spirit will the Most High not despise. But those that are full of pride, and you know, we know that this world is full of pride, you know, no one in this world is receiving correction, you know, not the correction, not the correction from the Lord. This is Proverbs uh, 15. You know, you can, the whole chapter is bad, but Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. So the correction is bring it, being brought out by the scriptures. You know, the prophets, the Lord set up his prophets to go out there on the highways and byways. You know, it says, uh, um, Isaiah 58 and 1 cry aloud, spare not lips of thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. So we're showing our people their transgressions, you know, how they're going off at, what they're doing incorrectly, you know, and how they live in that broad gate that live to that leadeth to destruction, you know, how they're in you know, how that's affecting uh their their relationship with the Lord, you know, now ultimately that if they continue on that broad gate, it's going to lead to their destruction, you know. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, you know. The scriptures talk about, you know, uh, uh happy, you know, uh, 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 um, I believe it's um, let me get it real quick, Salakia. I don't want to butcher the scripture, but it's in Proverbs. You know, sometimes it's easier just to go to a Proverbs 9 and it says Proverbs 9 8 reprove not a scorner at least he hate thee and that's what happened you know we we're reproving our people and they we tell our people the truth and they become haters you know they hate us for telling them the truth you know isn't that crazy we tell them that their salvation is near that the Lord you know the kingdom of heaven is nigh and they get happy, you know. They might get happy. Some people, you know, get excited for these things. You know, some people don't even believe. But those, uh, but when we tell them the requirements, they want to buck up, you see. It says, Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebu rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man. And he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So that's why it's important to receive this correction. You see? This is Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. Yet he that forsaketh the way. This man have wandered out of the way of understanding. Now he is in the way now he is in the uh, the congregation of the dead which is in the other nations and he's learning their ways you know and they weren't given any laws any any ways in the, they weren't given the correct way how to structure their life so what they're living a style that is going to lead unto their death you know which is going to anger the lord and he that hated for proof shall die so he that hated the reproof of Yahweh by Shema Hashai is, is going to die. You know, there's no if ands, or buts about that. This is uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. So when you come and seek the Lord, you have to be humble. You know, that's what's important. You humbling yourself in the sight of Yahweh by Shema Hashai, you know. A lot of people are not humble nowadays. A lot of people are proud. You know, a lot of people are doing that which is this pleases Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is Psalms 34 and 15. I oh, mean, let's start at 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. You see, so we're departing from evil, the evil ways that America promotes, and and do good. You know, uh, what is um uh, you know uh the ways. What's the good? The ways that please Yah by Shema Shai, the, the ways that our forefathers uh, committed. You know the the acts, the righteous acts. You know we have Abraham for an example. You know how he, you know uh, by faith sacrificed Isaac. You know you can read Hebrews the eleventh chapter. The whole chapter goes into some of the good works 
that our forefathers done. It says, and do good, seek peace, and pursue it. You see, you supposed to seek that peace, that peace of mind that the scriptures give you. You know, seek Yahweh Shema Shai, seek the Lord, and pursue it. Go after, it. chase after uh, this knowledge. Cause this is what's going to be able to keep our people stable. You know, and what you having, you know, you know, uh, uh, you, you should also be seeking peace from the Lord. You know, mercy from the Lord. The eyes of the Lord, where well, that all, you know, culminates together. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are, are open unto their cry. You see, the those who have repented, they're going to reap in mercy. When they cry unto the Lord, the Lord is going to hear them, and the Lord is hearing us now. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut them off the remembrance of them from the earth. So the face of Yahweh by Shema Shai is against them that do evil. You know, they're not going to be able to understand these scriptures. You know, and when that judgment comes, they're going to be caught up off guard. You know, because the Lord's coming to the thief of the night and they're going to be destroyed. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. You know, and we are coming to troubling times. You know. This man, Esau Edom, is going to have no mercy. But what? Uh, we will rather fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, than to, uh, into the hands of the men, you know? And that's what we understand because we fear the Lord. The Lord is nigh unto him that are, that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. So the Lord is nigh unto them that but be of a, a of a contrite spirit a broken heart someone who has went to the house of mourning you know while that time for them to do so was open many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivered them out of them all so yeah the point was in verse 18 let's read that again it says the lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and, of a, and save as such that be of a contrite spirit someone that is contrite but they are showing remorse you see they are meek they are humble you know they are ashamed for their actions you know and they have humbled themselves you know to the Lord back in Zephaniah 2 and 3 seek ye the Lord all ye meek of the earth you know all those who have repented seek the Lord you know you have a great reward for seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai which have wrought his judgments you know we have fallen under the curses you know, now we understand, you know, what happens when you piss the Lord off. We understand the wrath of the Lord. Now it's time to, to seek that mercy, you know. Seek being on the Lord's good side again, which have wrought his judgments. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You see, at least you fight. At least you have a chance to be hit in the day of the Lord's anger why why Jake out here committing their wickedness they have no chance at all we're going to close down this one right here this is Sirach this is um this book of Sirach chapter 5 verse let's go straight to the point you know um there's a scripture, you know, where it talks about, um, let's look this up real quick. Um, this is Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2, uh, Habakkuk 3 and 1, a prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon, uh, sh 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 Shinoff. You know, so that's the best of my ability. The Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, I have heard thy speech and was afraid, O Lord. Revive thy works in the midst of, of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath, rem remember mercy. So we're asking the Lord, you know, this is a prayer, that in the time of wrath, because wrath of the Lord is coming, you know. Whether you people want to believe it or not, the, the day of the Lord is coming. 
you know this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 9 behold the day of the Lord cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger and you look up that word cruel it means to be to willfully cause pain both with wrath see that wrath is coming we ask in the Lord during that time of wrath to remember mercy cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it so the sinners you know those who are breaking the law such commandments to willfully those who are willfully committing sins who aren't even trying to repent ultimately the elect are without fault and without throne or uh, without fault before the throne of the most high you know so you know lord's will when we get delivered you know into those chariots our sins are going to be wiped away while two-thirds of our people those who refuse to repent their sins are going to be right before the lord you see and they're going to be destroyed when those icbm nuclear missiles hit this place called america this is uh back in Sirach. Uh, uh, five and six and say not his mercy is great he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins you know that's a you know that's the mindset of a lot of these christians oh yeah the lord's fine we can eat bacon you know we can commit all these wicked acts you know it says say not for his mercy is great god is love god is love you see that's what they say you know and say not his mercy is great which the lord's mercy is great you know <laughs> this is a, a, a Sirach since I quoted it earlier let's go ahead and get it it says Sirach 2 and 15 they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word and they that love him will keep his ways they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him you see and they that love him shall be filled with the law they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts prepare their minds and humble their souls in his sight saying we will fall into the hands of the lord and when you say you see you humbling yourself hey you know because we know esau ain't gonna show no mercy we know that we know these other nations aren't gonna show any mercy you know what's that limitations for in 17 you know we have looked for a nation that cannot save us the Lord, it, the Lord, you know, is a present help in the time of trouble. You see, that's what we need. Saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, and we know the majesty of Yah by Shema Shai cannot be measured. You know, it's un, unestimable. As for as his majesty is, so is his mercy. So yes it's true the lord's mercy is great but the lord is saying this right here Sirach 5 and 6 and say not his mercy is great he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins for mercy and wrath come from the lord and his indignation his righteous anger so the lord has a right to be angry he told you to do something and you did it not Resteth upon sinners. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Don't wait to seek Yahweh by Shemel Shai. What are you waiting for? You don't got all day. Uh, uh, um, you know this lockdown. This could be the fam. The fam of the word is coming quick. You know, and when you need answers, the Lord's gonna take. When when Jake sees the wrath of his enemy, you know, when this devil comes like in like a flood, the Lord's gonna take all the answers out the streets. You know off the internet and that that's the reality of things it says make no turning to turn to the lord and put not off from day to day yeah, so every day you know it's scriptures talk about the outward man perisheth and the inward man is renewed day by day so every day you're supposed to be working on yourself you know getting better uh be better than yesterday you know you know in your spiritual aspect of your life you know be more spiritual than carnal be a little bit more spiritual every day we are striving for perfect for perfection you know yahweh shai say what uh be holy as your heavenly father in heaven is holy you know there's another account where it says be perfect you know so we have to strive for perfection 
we're not gonna be perfect you know but we're trying like hell to be perfect you know to the best of our ability you know we're fighting for the lord it says make no turning to turn to the lord and put on all from day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the lord come forth it's going to happen suddenly because when the prophets were out there you know warning you of the signs and times you weren't paying attention that wrath of the lord is going to come forth and in thy security thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance and that's that's the reality of things you know the wicked of our people those who are being you know proud as hell you know all these americans are proud you know and the most high hates a proudful look we hate proudful looks and we asking the lord to come down and judge the wicked of our people and the wicked of these nations man we're trying to get the hell out of this place so we're signing crown to the lord you know like it tells you in luke it says shall not the most high avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him he sh verily he shall avenge them speedily nevertheless when he cometh shall we find faith on the earth that's how bad things are going to be but the lord has given you know some men faith and those are going to be the ones that are found faithful in that day but hey lord's one this lesson was edifying you know hey just you know you know really you know, i don't know i might say salvation is near you know open form you know went to a couple of different topics but hey these topics are all relevant to the times that we are living in with that one give all praise on the glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakar kodash take the wali yahweh bahashem shai for allowing the holy spirit to rest upon me to do this lesson double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us for teaching us to learn percent truth according to the bible and showing us the way onto salvation in these last days and peace and blessings to the uh, to the believers of the Lord. You know, it's the next time we say shalom.